Hello my lovely gamers, I'm Jonal and today we are taking a look at what are the best weapons that you can get in Player Unknown's Battleground. This can be very helpful for you if you have to pick up a certain amount of weapons. What weapons should you actually pick? This is not a loadout guide. This doesn't mean that okay you should have a shotgun, an assault rifle or an assault rifle and a sniper rifle. This is more which one of these categorized weapons are the better ones to pick up if you have to, if you have to if you have the choice. And it can help you later on in the end game because having as many advantages as you can over your opponent can really help you out winning those matches or at least getting as far as possible. So let's just jump right into it. First of all, we're taking a look at the Astro Rifle. So of the Astro Rifle, we have the AKM, the M16, the M4, and the SCAR. Now of these all, in general, the stats should be on the screen right now. The, the AKM is the one with the highest damage while the rest of the weapons are equal. The, the one with the longest range is the M16 with the AKM coming into the second and while the SCAR and the M4 has the exact same uh, range this ability with the highest one with stability is AKM and the M4 and the fire rate for full auto weapons are the M4 however the AKM is the one that you will get with no attachment it's the best one with no attachment but it can be outlast by the M4 because how it also works is that the AKM only can have three attachments it can have a scope, a magazine and a barrel attachment Compared to the SCAR, which can actually have four, it can have a grip attachment as well as a scope, a barrel attachment, and a magazine attachment. And the M4 can have up to five attachments on itself, meaning it that you can pimp this much more and actually get some extra stability out of it, and in general just have some extra nice attachment onto it. So, what I personally like the M4. I think it's the, the better one because you can get so many. All of a sudden, you can have this pimp out really amazing equipped as a rifle that is really good stability fire rate and everything however if you want to just pick up a good gun and you can and you are uh, later in game there's not really a lot of houses you're not sure that you can get really any attachments anymore that's valuable then you might want to think okay fuck it i'm just gonna go with the akm it has good damage it is uh, it's a really good weapon and in general i'm just gonna pick that now just also note that the M16 is only semi-auto and burst fire. So, if you want something that is not the classical as a rifle with full auto, you want something that you can use a little bit more, kind of like a DMR or a sniper rifle, but you don't have those, then maybe you'll take a little bit look at the M16. Personally, I find it much better to just have either the M16 or the M4 if that's a possibility. You grip one of those and running around and just swapping to single fire if you have to and then going full auto as soon as they are in mid-range engagement. Then we'll take a look at the shotguns. Personally some of my favorite weapons especially later on now in the game and they are absolutely beast. And what you see there are three, there are three shotguns in the game at the moment. The first one is the S686. Now this only holds two rounds and essentially what it can do it has to max out damage just like its better version you can say the S1897. Those two are exactly the same the only difference is that the S686 has two rounds per magazine before you need to reload but it fires faster while while the S1897 is a pump action shotgun but has five rounds in this mag so it fires a little bit slower however they do the exact same damage but the S1897, which has a bigger magazine capacity, can in a certain way, especially if you go something like duo or a squad, be a little bit more helpful because it has the bigger magazine capacity, right? If you run with the, the S686, right, you only have those two shots to fire off. You'll fire off those, you'll down or kill a guy, and that's good enough. But if there's not a guy then coming around the turn, then you're standing there mid-reload and having problem and need to swap to a weapon, and you'll probably go down, especially if it also has a shotgun. Now, the best shotgun in the game, if you ask me, is the S12K. However, it's a little bit hard, it's a little bit tricky to get. It's not all, it's not everywhere. It's kind of like the M4. It's a little bit hard to find. It's very plausible to do it. But this is much better. It doesn't have as much damage as the two others. However, what it does have, it has a better fire rate. And it has a magazine capacity of 5, just like the other one. But it's not pump action. It's semi-auto. So you can just spam those shots down range. On top of that, it reloads in one big magazine. So... Instead of having to load every single round into it, you can just pull out the magazine and then down into it, and there you go. You can also equip an, a red dot side to it, which can be very nice for, for some of you guys to have a, to have one of those uh, scopes on. So personally, the S12K is the best shotgun in the game at the moment, especially if you ask me, and also stat-wise. 
And then we go over to the machine guns. And by the here we have two categories. We have the SMGs and the LMG. Well, the LMG can only be found in supply drops. So let's take a look at this. So the best weapon uh, of the SMGs are the Tommy gun. However, the Tommy gun can only be found also in supply drops. It's the best one in power, in range, and in fire rate. It has the highest fire rate actually of the weapons, I think, in the entire game. However, the LMG is also following very good up. The LMG has better, has better power, it has better range, it has more stability, but a slower fire rate. So it really depends on, on what you want. However, you can't really compare these two because if you find one, you probably won't find the other one. And if even if you do, a lot of time, I don't think a lot of people would like to run around with both a Tommy gun and an, as, and an LMG. A lot of time you want something for close range and something for longer ranges. However, of the two other LMGs that you can get there, there or SMG is my bad, there are uh, the Uzi and the UMP. Now the Uzi is practically garbage it's the worst one you can get stat wise and everything it's it's practically garbage it's better than a handgun but that's just almost even with a couple attachment it's not that good however the ump is by my person the best smg you can you can get because it's not as rare you don't need to get to a supply drop to get this it's really good it has an, like an overall nice good stat it's nice and stable it has an okay fire rate okay damage output you can get Four attachments onto it, which is really nice, and the attachment is not always as rare as some of the Astro Rifle attachments. I wouldn't, of course, advise you to try to snipe with this. So, essentially how it is, is that the UMP is the best of what they call the casual weapons. If you can get your hands on a Tommy Gun and you want to run around with an SMG, you can get that Tommy Gun. Just know that you will empty your mag a little bit fast here because it has such a fast fire rate. If you can get your hands on LMG, that's also good. You can use that. However, remember that there is a little bit of a difference between using LMG and an SMG, it's just on the same category because there aren't really any other LMGs I can compare it to, that's the reason it's here. And then we go over to the sniper rifle. Now the sniper rifle has also kind of two priorities. There's a standard sniper rifle which is the CAR, the AVM and the M24. Now out of all of the sniper rifle, the bolt action sniper rifles which are just listed, the AVM takes everyone out of damage and everything. It's in general just out using better stats and it's just outstanding all of its other predecessors. However, there's another weapon on the field and that's the SKS. Now, most sniper rifle you cannot find outside of supply drops. The only one is the CAR and the SKS. Now, the SKS is more of a DMR. It's a dedicated marksman rifle, meaning that it's not bolt action. It's semi-auto. However, it's... Also not really a sniper rifle as we think of it as a lot of, in a lot of games. For example, it has a little bit faster fire rate, but also a little bit harder recoil. So on the longer ranges, it can be a little bit harder to land those shots. However, the damage module of that is pretty good still. Now personally, the, the weapon that you will normally find, unless you're going for those supply drops all the time, is the car 98. That's a really good rifle. If Personally, if I would tell you to pick anything, I would tell you to avoid the SKS. If you can get a car instead, I would tell you to pick up that. Because if you want something that works like at medium range and engagement and stuff like that, just have a, an M16, an M4, even an AKM or something like that. One of your ass rifle, and then you can even use those with a full time scope. It's really good to use those as a full time scope. You just need to be a little bit good with aiming. And then for those longer ranges and those more precision shots, you can have like the car 98. Or hopefully, if you can get one of those, get the, that ABM sniper rifle on there to one tap headshot and just down people from those long ranges, keep you on distance, and, and just wreck people with that. Now, I won't go over handguns because essentially, handguns are something that you bring up in the beginning of the game, and it's normally a panic weapon where you kind of just use it so you have something to defend yourself on while you go around trying to find the primary weapon. Because that's that, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you out a little bit understanding the stats of the weapon in player on battleground which one you want to pick if you have any questions then drop down down in the comment section if you have any videos suggestions anything that you would like to know and drop that down i'll try to answer it or or make a video on the topic if you like then like if you dislike then dislike subscribe if you want to follow the content if you have want to see and you like what you see here then i always continually try to post regular content about different games and player known and one of the games that i have got like a large interest too because it's a really fun game it's really addicting besides that guys as always i'm journal and keep the enemy in your crosshair